fairly especially important as as Marth. Uh, his, his goal here is mostly going going to sound pretty typical of of Marth, but his one of the goals will be to stay underneath the ice climbers and always move immediately after doing or always dash immediately after doing a ground move. So you'll see him down tilt and then dash away immediately. Okay. Because uh, down tilt is Marth's best way of challenging Ice Climber Shield, but you have to basically get out of there as soon as possible. Yeah. I feel like spacing, I mean, I'm just spacing in any matchup is key with Marth, but in this matchup especially, if you just out misspace one thing, uh, like a one fair, it's a shield grab, that's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it's super dangerous to be jumping against Ice Climbers, which is not not quite counterintuitive, but it's just... You'd think it would be better than it is. Yeah. Uh, grabbing is also one of those things that uh, against Ooh. Ice Climbers, people are pretty hesitant to do. Yeah. But it's actually very good as Marth. Does Marth... I'm oh, sorry about no, that. No, go ahead. Um, does Marth have any, like... Um, what are his best moves for, like, getting Ice Climbers away from each other? His like, best moves for getting Ice Climbers away from each other are yeah. actually, uh, uh, as... So, so is showing grabs. Okay. Um, one of the reason Marth's grabs are especially potent against Ice Climbers because the animation is so quick. Okay. Which is a kind of subtle thing that sometimes gets overlooked. Because uh, I know in the Sheik matchup, Sheik just never wants to grab Ice Climbers because all of her throw animations take forever. Yeah. That's the reason why Fox's grabs are good against him are good against them as well. Okay. Um, but yeah, uh, a lot of shield pokes are kind of his mo, as you saw there. Yeah. Um, oh, that was really good. Ford Air's very good at hitting one but not hitting the other. S Dubie is having a pretty solid a uh, pretty solid recovery game here. And he yeah, turns that this was one impressive. around. The last time Zosa threatened Shield Breaker on ledge, like he just drifted out and he was like, no, I don't want any part of that. <laughs> yep. But this time he's faced it head on and worked out really well, but oh, there we go. That was a really slick edge hog. Uh, Ice Climbers, or Sopo in particular, not good at coming up from below the stage, so grabbing the ledge is almost always a good option. Now, does Nana still have that like incredible hitbox where like she's just a projectile on herself now? Uh, you mean, you uh, mean on their up B? Yeah. Yes, so okay. Nana is invincible for, I, th I think, 59 frames on <laughs> their up B, second. so almost an entire second, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's once she stops ascending is wow. when she stops being invincible, yeah. Wow, <laughs> that's a long time. Many, many people better than me have been hit by that by the uh, projectile Nana. Yeah, um, like I've seen some really cute combos with that one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's some cool stuff. You, uh, I've seen one or two that accidentally turned into like a decent grab into a wobble. Wow! Like against fast fallers, if you uh, up B out of shield as ice climbers and then get the decent, it, it's it's not it's not something you try to do. But. Yeah, it's always fun to try. <laughs> when it happens and everyone says you're amazing, you're like, yeah, man, yeah. I'm so good at this game. Uh -huh. He grabbed ledge and Nana just <laughs> fell straight down. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the bane, man. That's Nana, the, why? The curse of playing Ice Climbers. Oh, she really is just so weird. You get, you get to play a, a good character at the cost of having a terrible character follow you around. Right. I just want to see a, like a Sopo with like a level 7 Luigi or something. <laughs> like. Yeah, just have Sopo and a level 9 Ganon. That's yeah. Those jabs, man. Dude, it's crazy. And then Nano, Nano will just cry. <laughs> like, I don't know. I'm guessing Zoso banned Dreamland. <laughs> Surprised. Yep, I was going to guess either Stadium or FD. Right, they're going for the neutral start. That was that was good. Because that was a very bad position for both of them. Yeah, Pokemon Stadium is especially susceptible to weird, Price weird bomb. start of the game things. Yeah. Es especially uh, with Marth on platform, uh, with Marth starting out underneath platforms. Yeah. Just because of being in tipper range so easily. Yeah, and that was a good combo. Uh, got Nana way up there in percent real quick and just hit it with the tip. That was over. Missing the edge guard on the Sopo, though. Yeah, the, the fade back makes it really hard to follow it because there's a surprising amount of options that Sopo has available to him on the way down. Yeah. Uh, but either way, sends him 
<laughs> forces the hedge guard on the other end of the stage, and that's down a stock for S2B. Yep. Yeah. I mean, it looks like Zoso is just doing a really good job at, like, again, spacing just really well. Keeping Ice Climbers way away, killing mana kills real fast, and just getting it over with. Yeah, notice as soon as as soon as uh, Sopo is alone, he switches over to up throw because there's no way at all for, especially a solo climber, to challenge Marth on the way down. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, their down air is really good, but it's it's just not worth it. It's it's not Marth up tilt or Marth up air good no. by, by a mile. But they're in the pit just a little bit. Marth forcing his way out. All things told, I think I think Zoso would have been A-OK -okay just sitting in the pit. While, uh, because if you're in the pit, you're probably not going to get grabbed because Ice Climbers can't get in there. Yeah. And if they do get in there, it's going to cost them some percent. Mm -hmm. SCB's just having a terrible time right now. That should be a kill. Yep. That and, was good. Yeah, getting... Oh, that was a scary grab. Nana jabbing right past Marth. There we go. She did something useful that time. That wave dash forward smash is, is like the textbook example. That's the kind of stuff that S2B needs to be shooting to punish. Uh, it's not an easy punish because uh, it was spaced very well. Yeah. But that's the kind of over over commitment that can easily be uh, easily be not easily be punished, but is important to punish. Um, I'm not sure why S2B air dodge there. Maybe he was just hoping. Uh, I think he just misjudged the distance. Yeah. I know for me, sometimes my uh, my trigger finger gets too heavy, <laughs> and I drop it on the R button. Oh, yeah. And I wish I was joking, but... <laughs> oh, no. There's the, sometimes the random air dodges just yeah. kind of happen, especially uh, they're the most important times, too. Um, this is the kind of lead that almost comes off as insurmountable being down this many stocks with Sopo. Yeah, that's just bad. Yeah, Very you're, bad. You're you're not gonna have you don't have any good way to kill Marth and Yeah, and a, there we go. A running tipper ends the game with that was style impressive, and flair. That was pretty impressive by Zoso. Like yeah. uh